Hello everyone. Thank you BBS for this opportunity. My name is Wang Rana Gurung. Uh, I'm a freelance visual artist. I do drawing, painting, and I illustrate books, and I do sometimes mural artworks, and everything which has to do with visual art. And I've been painting since I was a kid. I was drawing. Uh, when I was young, I, I didn't know the methods and the proper rule of drawing and painting, but I was still doodling and then I was, I was quite passionate about art, but as a, as a professional and a proper art classes, I, I started when I finished my high school. Then I discovered about like Vas Bhutan, where we get like art classes, and then they they used to have like every Saturday and every weekends we had like art classes, and then like since I discovered Vas, then only I I started painting and then drawing in a proper way with all those like methods and professionally. I think the first memory of like art and creativity was I think I don't know whether you all remember like we had those like crayons oil pastel and when we when we mix that with the chewing gum and we used to like just chew because it's the medium is like like a wax so it used to like it's it it's like a candle so it melts so I remember uh, adding the crayons of different colors and like chewing it and then playing with my friends. And I, I have this interesting memory where I was coloring my friends like teeth. So I was just coloring, you know, making it like, like beads. So that was one of my interesting memories. And as we all know, I think we are very familiar with animations. So my, <clears throat> my first uh, interest of art, interest for art, uh, started from like animated films and anima animated series which were like shown on the TV, especially like Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z. I think like from that we had a group of friends who were like very like interested in that animated movies. So we used to draw a lot of like animated characters and subjects and that way I think the the interest the hobby of drawing and doodling it got like more serious and we used to do a lot uh, I feel like for an artist you know anything can be an inspiration for example if you are if you are surrounded with things and then if you go to different places, meet different people, the stories that you get from there and the good energy of the place, that inspires you to paint and draw. And for an artist, I think if you can, if you are really good at like drawing and then if you are good at capturing the places, Sometimes what happens is if you are a landscape painter, you just go to different places and capture the moment. And if you, if you are not that type of artist who, who, who loves to paint from the outdoor, you can still be in your studio and then create from, from, your, from the feelings that you have, from the ideas and thoughts. So inspiration, Sometimes people can inspire you and sometimes it's the places and sometimes it's, it's just that you have to observe the things which are happening around you and then whichever, like whatever subjects or whatever the current situation is, you can reflect that on your canvas or on your paper. And sometimes we, we get inspired from the artists, like example, like from our seniors 
or from the famous artists we we look up to so for me i think like everything has been inspiring my art uh, from seniors to the to even the juniors you know sometimes we get inspired from the medium and style which even the the beginners are doing some sometimes it's not about how experienced you are sometimes it's just you know people discover different style different art from a very young age so i think it's important for an artist to keep an open mind and then get grab inspiration from everything the modern and contemporary in other countries and in bhutan it's i think it's completely different because in in western art if you can like imitate the reality and if you paint something realistic it's considered modern art but in bhutan i think if you like depict the reality and if you imitate the nature it's considered like contemporary artist because in bhutan the traditional artist is more of like religion art so that if you can imitate the nature then that is it's considered contemporary artist contemporary art and then and even when it comes to the traditional art in bhutan before i think it was it was all given to the monks the traditional art like trainings and all and then after after some time even the public and the citizens they got the opportunity to learn like uh, traditional paintings like in zorichuso so from that that the passing of the traditional art to the the public itself the movement it's contemporary but the art it's it's traditional and even nowadays i think you can you can see in in the traffics and roundabouts if you have seen those uh installation art the art movement it it is a contemporary art because before we didn't have those but now we have the traditional sculptures coming up in the roundabouts and even you can see the designs of the dustbins and the you know things the infrastructures around so that whole movement you can see contemporary but the art is still like the traditional and uh like me when i when i finished my high school and then when i didn't like discover the contemporary art center like vast bhutan uh, i had like i i always wanted to like do painting and drawing so at first like i i thought of going to zorichusu but i was just doing some like research and because it's a big career step and then i was just asking my friends my family discussing with them you know about what should i like pursue in as a career so at first priority i had zori chusu because i didn't discover vas and then when i was just like uh, going through like facebooks and social medias and nowadays with google it's it's quite easy so, so i discovered about this like vas and then even my brother like he suggested me to go to vas and then like so the traditional it was like i, I said like okay i'm more interested in modern and contemporary art so i came to vas and then like i i, I became a member of vas and then uh, initially i was i was a student and then i I learned my drawing and painting classes from the seniors and the mentors here and then after after few years I I started like teaching here and then being one of the active members there. To talk about uh, my this recent painting uh, it's it's from the exhibition and art competition i participated 
Uh, annually, like RTA and Vas Bhutan uh, organizes this modern art competition, and then this like RTA's competition it's it's quite a big big competition where there's like different different genres and different mediums like weaving weaving painting and traditional art and then all all the like sculptures it's like included and it's a national competition it's it's called national uh, design and art competition and it's it's happening in the country like from i think from p past four to five years it's been happening like annually and then like when this type of opportunities are given there are many artists like participating in in different fields and then like my my participation was in the field of contemporary art there's a genre which is like you know <coughs> in contemporary art field and this piece i i did it in this year because uh, when it comes to like my art i i usually draw the things which are happening in the in this current current time so recently we had this uh, we have this issue going on between uh, the russia and ukraine war was a big thing so i wanted to express uh, my my views on like Zelensky, and every year in this competition we we get a theme to work on. So for for this year it was metamorphosis. So for metamorphosis it's I have to show the journey and the evolution process, and then at first I was just thinking of tadpoles and frogs, just like you know caterpillars and butterflies. So when I was working on the draft, at first it was metamorphosis of like different nature and the things. And then later, like when I was doing more drafts and when I was brainstorming, I thought uh, like Zelensky can be like used as a metamorphosis in my theme because uh, uh, president of Ukraine, he had such a like different different journey in his life so this piece is servant of the people and i named it from the tv show of his and it's it's available on the netflix so i was when i was doing some research i <coughs> i came to know that he he had that tv show his series so like me like I like to experiment with different mediums, so that way I, I have done like like some of some of my works in the book field. So the comic process, like I I have applied it here. So before before you draw, you do penciling. So all of this painting, it was first just line art. I was do, trying to get the composition right. And like I said, I wanted to get the eye levels. And then the mediums, like I used here is watercolor. So to explain about the, the subjects, it's as you can see the background, it's the color of the Ukraine, Ukraine flag. And to explain about the detailed subject, the, the pose of him, you know, it's is him going to the school because he was a teacher in that series and this this pose and this picture of him riding a bicycle it's it's from from the movie poster uh, called like servant of the people which i named my uh, art title and then to 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 show the metamorphosis to show the evolution i have added you know, like the Paddington beer, because this Paddington beer, it's a, it's a movie and in the Ukraine's version of this movie, Zelensky did the like voice voice over. So he was the voice artist for this character. And then like if you if you can like focus here and like it's a decorative like like a batch, a flower. 
and then which is from his dance competition because like when i was doing the research i i came to know that he was even like one of the best dan dancers from U ukraine and as you can see i have i have shown the you know color of the flag so one is blue and one is yellow in the yellow part like i wanted to show the rich culture of ukraine like uh, it's all the happening of the you know festivals and then people enjoying having a good time and then that blue part i wanted to make it a bit like a uh, gothic and bit dark so it was it's the the war situation happening in the country currently and then if you if you focus like on on the dove so this dove pigeon it represents a uh, symbol of peace so like this is like like the hope for the situation to get better and then as you can see like i have put zelensky with with this bulletproof like you know army army outfits because he was he was with with his like team army team to like support and then to to be uh, an active leader so i wanted to show his like journey his evolution from an actor comedian to you know the dancer and then finally leading his country currently The one thing which I like about art, uh, like art is, uh, now when it comes to art, there are like different forms of art, like sculpture, drawing, painting. But the basic is, I think the foundation, it's always the drawing. That is why like we, when you have like cartoonist or illustrator illustrating, you know, staying in the studio and the, the artists, those who go out and then observe from real life, not from photographs you will see the the difference between their work and then the most and one of the most important like thing about art is if you know how to draw you will like you will know how to like think visually so no no matter what what type of work you do you can always plan a draft very nicely for example like if you are uh, designing a card then you can always do use your drawing skills to improve and then even in filmmaking and comics uh, we don't directly like color the page or do the characters we do like thumbnails where we just design and plan a like small drawing so just like that you know drawing it can help anyone it doesn't always have to be uh, a profession artist or an artist it can be like a like an art therapy or a hobby or as a time like you know just to just for time pass you you do something so i feel like if you know how to drawing if you know how to draw it's going to add a lot to your visual thinking and then you can improve as a person and even as like as a profession So like whenever we, we draw, because sometimes like art and you know drawing, painting and like staying in a studio usually, like it takes a lot of time. Sometimes we even take like one to two days or you know it can go up to like weeks to months. So at that time, uh, like I, I just play some songs and then if I'm, if I'm like had enough of the song then I, I enjoy like playing documentaries and then doing some you know uh, and I think nowadays the audio book is quite popular so sometimes I just turn, turn it on and then I, I do my work and when it comes to like drawing and then whatever project I'm working on I, I enjoy the process of 
you know, research. Because uh, to talk about the book which I re recently launched, I did a project with WWF. So in that comic book, it was about the ranger. So like I was, while going through the script, I was very much interested to, you know, uh, meet the ranger and then wanted to like hear their stories because sometimes whatever you read in the script is like not enough to understand how they work or you know how is their like timing and what type of gadgets and weapons or like self-defense gadgets they carry so like i was in contact with the main character and the stories which i hear from him and the the you know when they are like doing the patrolling they have their own like footage of the animals and their journey so that research process it helps a lot in in the final like product of the art This is one of my recent acrylic paintings on canvas. Uh, this I, I did last year for RTA design and art competition. And the, the title is Lockdown Takin. And the theme for the competition was uh, still life. So I decided to use Takin because uh, I wanted to show the uh, situation of Bhutan in during the lockdown situation. So just like the animal tacking, it has some like lighter shades on the upper parts of the body and darker shades on the legs. So just like the color mood of the tacking, uh, it I wanted to represent it as a economic background of the people living in Bhutan because some of them they are from like very privileged background and some of them they are from like unprivileged or you can call it humble background so during this lockdown so during this lockdown i think for for some people like who are very much privileged they could work from home and then their life was quite uh, comfortable during lockdown but to those ones, uh, those who were doing like physical labors and those who were like from very, very poor economic background, it was very tough for them to sustain, sustain their like financial condition. So I wanted to show that through Takin. So if I have to uh, talk about the goals in future, like me and as my, as my studio, Timbu Comics, I think the comic, comic culture and then the people, those who are working on comic is like, there are very few, few artists and comic studios in Timbu, in, in Bhutan. So, I think my like long-term goal or like where I see myself in future is I think I would love to do more of comic works because uh, to start this comic culture and comic festival and this comic trends it's it has been quite a long journey even in 10 years we like we are I, I feel like we are still quite struggling to bring out uh, that comic trends so like in future i think i would love to see like more more comic culture and then more comic events happening in bhutan 
and then if if you could get some international attention and then if you can make this like, comic culture grow i would love to focus more on like comic and and even like when it comes to my own art style i haven't done a solo exhibition till now so my my goal in future would be to have my own solo exhibition get started and and in in future like i would love to do more like international exhibitions uh if there's uh, anyone who want to you know take up art as a profession uh i feel like my message would be to get some help and do some research because i feel i feel like there are so many talented people you know but those who are just like introverted or those who don't make that first first step because i feel like if you you know nowadays it's quite easier with the social media you can just type anything and then you will you will get a list of information where to go and you know how to go about and i feel like nowadays the the art scene in bhutan is quite improving so there are so many studios there are so many organizations you know art organizations coming up so i feel like if you want to pursue a career in art you can always ask around the the people or the best way is to go to an art art event go to an art exhibition and from there you can you know socialize with the artist and then i'm sure there are like a lot of artists and seniors mentors those who are you know happily like ready to help you and then include you in the art community so you can always go and then go and be a member or join them